Hello and welcome to another installment of Let's Learn Dirt Rally. We'll be going back to Wales for this one. Mm, that's very exciting. I've actually... Oh, right. Um, yeah. And we got a special guest. Say hello. Hello. Yes, uh, this is Corn uh, in the Bible, according to the forums. So I guess we'll go with that. Yeah, and, sure. Uh, I've actually been to Wales. I've been to that track once. So. Oh. But a long have time you been ago. to Sweet Lamb? What? Yeah, there's a track called uh, Sweet Lamb. No, no, but no, we just. Um, I don't remember why I went there, but we went to Wales to visit some of the castles and things like that, you know, history stuff, but. Uh... Huh. So, today's class is R4, which is kind of a descendant of, what was it, um, Group N Five, from four, back, uh, back three, in the Group B, Group A, two, Group N days. One, right. Go. And here's right something five. that I recommend everybody do at least once. And right five, keep Crash. Down. Yes. Four, Crash and right just four, destroy four, all of your lights. Left one long, <laughs> oh no. It looks hilarious, but right over yeah, so it's, it's good practice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you get the guy to tell you and where to go and all that sort of thing. Crest. Yeah, and uh, once you don't have lights, you really start to listen. Right so it, it's good and practice to like really crest. heed the words of your co-driver. Yes. I still think they need to add uh, just a a mode where someone else is just your co-driver and. They can give you all the directions. From, I hear that from people who aren't you, and Left also in the what was it the general sim thread where you really <laughs> want to do it. Why is it? Why did you have to say people who aren't me? What's the? Well, <laughs> what does that mean? It means people who aren't you. All right, all right. Like, anyway. I, I've heard that specific right six, 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 suggestion from like Cezeltron. A few other guys who I hang out with. Well, because I've actually done um, not like not like this kind of rally, like, but I've done we've done navigation in like street rallies where you kind of follow the directions and things. It's fun. So, but uh, you do kind of have to know the track and things like that to to, na to navigate for something like this. I guess that's that's a problem, but. Well, that's why you do like before the event you do recces. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I do. I still. I, I still really junction. like your little the thing you made in with all the controls and everything. That's really. That's really cool. I wish that was mine, but it isn't. Oh, you made one before. I remember that. I did, and it works fine for streaming, but um, I can't have it on screen while I'm doing um, pre-recording. Ah, I see. Because it's all in a browser, and... Right, right. Yeah. I would have to get a sec... I, I tried to do it with a second screen. I tried to do it in Hitbox locally, and also switch over to Hitbox Studio. Right, no, none of those solutions really worked to the degree that I wanted. Hmm, it's too bad. What you're looking at now is called the Dirt Telemetry Tool. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, but it is pretty cool. And so we're... <laughs> it's kind of hard to say anything about this, this race right now, because I can't see anything, except that you've, you've turned around accidentally, I assume. Uh, I got crashed into a pile of wood. <laughs> and yeah, I'm sorry, it is pretty dark. <laughs> you know, usually people drive with headlights on. I mean, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not a professional race car driver, but uh, I tend to have them on at night when I'm driving. So. You know, well, there's not really much to say about the track, is except that it's long, and there's a. Plenty of turns. Yeah, yeah. But, um... It's just mostly about the feeling of not seeing anything and still having to go 100 kilometers per hour. It's really amazing how much better Dirt Rally is than Dirt 3 was. It's, it's like night and day. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, <laughs> if you if you get me, but uh, I think I do. I still remember. I actually I got dirt free for free. Um, during that, uh, there was a big leak of of dirt three keys. Remember that a long time ago. Uh, and they never took my copy away, so I still have it. But there's no reason I would ever want to install it or play it. It's, it's a mess. I've got a hard copy. Like, I've got a disc, and there's no way for me to ever sell it because Steam keys and whatever. Yeah. I I just remember that when you in like when you're playing it, you'll unlock cars, but then you can't drive them because you don't own the the DLC for them, which is just the most bullshit way to do that. That's so typical of Coat Masters for the day. Yeah, they were. They were kind of assholes back then. Like, I know that the list of DLC is not a lot as long as for certain train simulators, but it's pretty long for both Dirt 2 and Dirt 3. Yeah, I mean, Dirt 2 has a lot of DLC too, but it doesn't show up in the car menu when you don't own it to, like, mock you. Uh, you know, because having, having, you know, the ability to buy more cars and things like that, like, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. It's just, like... When they're deliberately like shoving it in your face, it, it, it's annoying. The funny thing is, I would probably buy like Toyota Celica DLC yeah. or Suzuki DLC. God damn, I want to drive some Suzukis. <laughs> Doesn't it also have that, that game mode where you just drive in circles around like a pylon? I forget what that's called, but... Jim Connor. Yeah, yeah. That was in Dirt 3, and it was, like, the centerpiece because Ken Block had brought Jim Connor to the foreground. Yeah. And it's terrible. It is, because everything is on autopilot. Yeah. And then they went whole hog with it for Dirt Showdown, which was the polar opposite of this. Just like super arcadey, right? And not technical. And not good. Well, it was still like dirt racing, and it was still kind of cool, like their style, but it was uh, going into the opposite direction from this. Yeah. Right five long. I've never played Dirt Showdown. I wasn't interested. I don't think people liked it that much, did they? Nobody really liked it. It was a game for nobody. Yeah. Much like uh, Forza 5. Look at that. <laughs> That's the one they put on PC, right? No. No. Oh. Or maybe they did. Oh, right. Know. That's the one where there was like a DLC list for you could buy gold yes. and there was a pack labeled good value and it was yeah, the worst was... value of the whole <laughs> bunch. Yeah, you could spend more money to get less than than you would if you bought several of the small packs. Um, and it took them a while to fix that. They claimed it was a mistake, but I, I doubt it was. I think that's bullshit. <laughs> it was definitely not a mistake. These yeah. things are all calculated beforehand. <laughs> And yeah. all they really wanted was to snatch up the whales that are quicker than everybody else. Yeah. Hey, you won. Good job. No. Oh, you came in fifth. I managed to get through. And I got a pretty decent time considering that uh, I did this. Oh, your headlights came back. Yeah, it, it's a replay. Oh, I see. I like that little awkward, oh, there he is. Yeah, and there, now he's gone. So this would be the most the, dull sporting event. <laughs> like just <laughs> people driving and you can't see them, and it's just like, all right, you know, there we go. You still get to hear the sound. It's true. And right six. It's true. But hey, um, and I guess I gotta six. mention One the car. So for R4, you get a selection of two cars. That'd be the right six, Subaru Impreza WRX ST. Over long crest. Or something like that. Right no, no, W W R X. Which is from let's see, it's R4, so right I'm gonna six, say about crest. 2010, or maybe later. The other car you get to pick is the Mitsubishi right Lancer crest. Evolution right six, X. Crest. Okay. Right six, which is 16. the one I, I picked. Left six and, crest and it is in every way better. 
Right. People tend to flock to the Subaru because you can drive it on the road and it has comfortable seating and whatnot. And also, Colin McRae favored the Subaru because they offered him money. That's fair, I suppose. Mm-hmm. The Lancer Evo has a huge turning radius, which is a problem. And then again, so does the, so does the Subaru. Right 660, um, open, left. It also tends to understeer uh, hmm. pretty badly, That's which means that... The, and it also doesn't an, um, respond well to hand braking. You have to do left foot braking to get through a lot of these corners. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It uh, right, also five, being four, in the R4 five, class, six, which eight, is open, well right. the slowest class of its time. It's like an introduction to rallying after you've done your your time in uh, early rally cross. Right. Right. It it's turbocharged, but it doesn't go all that fast. The chassis seems to be designed to hold you back right, six, and keep, keep you from going 80. too fast. Hmm. I see. Wouldn't that be... It's I a mean, good trainer like vehicle, long, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, I guess that makes maybe. sense, but I mean... So you wouldn't... Six, jump, so you wouldn't 60. use that, like, competitively right, six, in, in real 80. life, then. Right, five, over crest you would, but that's because it's in its own bracket. Right, with I, the Subaru. that's true. Yeah, that, that's right. It's an R4 car right, for the R4 crest, class. So, what really, what gets me about this car is that it's very expensive in in-game credits, right? And it's more expensive than the much more difficult Group B class. That is weird. Open it is right. weird. Um, I'd say Group B well, is pretty much the end game to this game, but. But this uh, car is way more expensive. Yeah. That's so, weird. like, this is post end game, and yet it is so much more <laughs> difficult to drive than the Group B cars. You know, I, I've never liked having to unlock cars in racing games. I know it's like the point, but it's more fun to just, like, you know, race and drive cars and drive the car that you like and not have to grind well, to, to unlock them. Well, you can do what I do for recording these videos and just go Keep into in quick game, play. 100. You can post times Press that get like five, noticed in. on the international board. Hmm. Um, but for the campaign, the game kind of just throws you off the deep end after the mini and then expects you to get uh, harder and harder until you reach group B, at which point, oh shit. There's a fucking crevasse in difficulty. <laughs> now, I thought for a second you said Trabant, and now I think <laughs> they should really add a Trabant to this game. I think that would improve it. I think tra a Trabant would be pretty good for something like the 60s class. Yeah, yeah. Keep also, Lottas. I want to see Lottas. <laughs> I want a Yugo. I want a rally in a Yugo. I actually had a Yugo once, and they are, uh... They are not the best of cars, but there's a charm to them. <laughs> That's what I hear about a lot of Soviet cars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, Trabant? No, um, Lada. Lada had a lot of different cars in, like, the World Rally Championship. Right. They even had a Group B car. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Which like, not all of those but... Eastern Bloc car companies were bad or anything, it's just a lot of them were, so that's kind of the... Yeah. Lotta was the one of those few companies that you went to if you wanted a really hardy, decent car. Yeah. As opposed to, like, the, the Skoda. Which Skoda used to be good, and Skoda is okay now. But during that period, they just they were seventies and eighties. Yeah, complete wreck. And it's it's unfortunate. It's telling that the early like after the Volkswagen bought up Skoda, like some of the early promotional material for their cars was like it's still a Skoda, honest. Right. Even though it's like a top-of-the-line 
pretty much a copy of a Volkswagen. Yeah, it's it's actually hard to get a Skoda in the United States because they have such a bad <laughs> reputation from the 70s and 80s that some dealers like just won't stock them. They were basically blacklisted for a long time because of that. Because they were. It's unfortunate. Yeah, because now, you know, it's a perfectly acceptable car company. And you can buy a Kia, so, like, it's not, you know. <laughs> you might as well shoot yourself than drive a Kia, but you can do it, so. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck them. Yeah, terrible. I want a Hyundai, but I want it to be more expensive. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> and, and worse, actually. <laughs> I we drove a I've only driven a Kia like a couple of times. There was a, I had a rental one, and the honk could not be heard oh. outside the car. The horn you could hear it inside, <laughs> but not outside, which really is backwards. Defeats I think purpose, as yeah. as far as horns go, that's it's not quite right. <laughs> yup. So that's driving in the dark without headlights. I. Hope you've had fun watching this. Goodbye. Goodbye.